Final race on the program then at Happy Valley. Class two, 1,200 metres set to finish the night is race number nine, headed by Shiny Ace. Last start winner under Joe Moreira, but Chad Schofield will ride this time for John Sykes from barrier number four. Country star, a five-time course and distance uh, winner, third to massive pocket last time out. Waldorf last in Group 3, company behind Thanks Forever last time. Victorium comes up in a class with his last start uh, win, beating Grade 1, moment of power. Um, disappointing his last two starts, but he's got speed from barrier number nine. Sparkling Dragon behind Shining Ace last time out, winning Method behind Shining Ace as well. He finished in third place. And down to Team Spirit, has been disappointing himself in his last few runs. He'll jump from barrier three under Ben So. Shining Ace, Waldorf, Encore Boy, Beauty Amigo and Racing Fighter are the horses that have been up at Chung Fai in the last 30 days. Uh, I've made our way across to the uh, touch screen here to have a look at the speed map and some key races as well. And as far as the speed's concerned, uh, Tom, there's plenty of it with the likes of uh, Moment of Power be trying to get across from a wide gate, but Team Spirit has been disappointing on his last few starts, might be able to grab the rail. Yeah, and he hasn't got anywhere near the front in his last couple of runs, uh, Team Spirit. He's only had one run at Happy Valley in the past, but uh, you'd say if he, he jumps well from uh, his stall of gate number three for Ben, so he'll be right there. Moment of power, more often than not over 1,200 metres, they can ride him slightly more conservative, but I can see him being there as well, uh, moment of power with uh, Jack Wong riding, and Beauty Amigo uh, out wider there for Wagner Borders. It looks a little bit tricky uh, for him. You've got uh, Country Star, who should get the perfect run as to uh, Shining Ace Victorium and uh, Zach Purton caught out a limb there uh, wider from gate 10 and Waldorf smack bang in the middle there. He should get a, a nice run through as well, Waldorf. All right, well, that's the speed, Matt. What's been happening at the track work, Paul? Country star, he's up 1,200 metres, looks ideal for him. Barrier number one, gets a bit of weight off his back. His work's been good. Was a nice third behind Massive Pocket last start and uh, just has to, to uh, move nice you know. He should get a nice run and have every chance. Look, Waldorf is super keen here. Um, here, he's the one on the inside in the red saddle cloth. He's ready to go. He's been up in Chung Fa. He's had a bit of a break. Did run second off a similar rating two starts ago. Found it too rich behind Thanks River last time. And uh, winning method's been very consistent. Run second at his last couple of starts. Uh, Joe Marrera aboard here. He'll ride him on race day as well. And uh, he looks good, the horse. So he's another definite chance in the race. All right, we'll start the preview here with Country Star. Gets up from the 1,000 metres to 1,200 here. He'll be ridden by Alfred Chan. Um, last run, actually, he ran pretty good race. Um, I think the fast pace uh, suits him because um, last start, there was um, a lot of speed in that race. And then um, Mr. Size told me just drop him back and ride for luck in the last. And then um, actually, when he found a gap, he ran home very strong. What do you think about him stepping up to 1,200 metres of distance where he's done all of his winning? Uh, I think 1,200 will um, suit him better because last season he won five win. He won five times and one second over 1,200 at the Happy Valley. And um, he stacked him up two more hundred this time and he got a um, drawing one tomorrow. I think he will be the chance tomorrow. Your own riding, Elfie. You've ridden 22 winners for the season. Uh, the last month in particular, your form's been good. You had a few weeks ago a treble here at Chartin. How do you feel your own form is? Um, actually, it feels great, you know. Um, riding lots of winners and then hopefully can keep the forms going. It looks like from the outside looking in, your form's got better in the last few months. Having a new apprentice to compete with in Jerry Chow, has that bit of extra competition helped you? Um, that was always um, be good to have a competition, and but the big thing is um, I think I released myself more because um, I gave myself a lot of pressure before, and then now I think about it and then I just um, do what if I, uh, what if I can and just easy. And the fact that a trainer of John Size's caliber gives you rides like this, does that give you confidence in your own ability? Oh, uh, definitely, definitely. No, um. That was um, great to get some opportunities from the champion's trainer and then um, hopefully he can write some winners for him soon. I think he could on Wednesday night. That's uh, Alfie Chan on uh, Country Star. Big chance, I think, back up to the 1,200 metres. What about the rest of them, though? Because it's a very competitive uh, field and uh, we can take a check on a few runners uh, here. Shining Ace down on the inside. So this is a strong win under Joe Moreira, but he doesn't go this time, Tom. He's looked elsewhere, um, has Joe. Winning method 
down the outside here, finishing in second place. We've got Sparkling Dragon, a competitive third, and Tornado Twist as well. Tom, I didn't think he was too bad here, even finishing in fifth place. No, he hasn't been able to replicate his early form Tornado Twist, but he, he made some good ground, I thought, uh, last time out. Shining Ace was up against the rail here and was uh, too good. He's currently 15 to the one in the market at the moment. That's a good price. He's since trialled nicely up at uh, uh, Chung Fa, has uh, Shining Ace. Of the, the rest of them in the race, uh, winning method, his run was very good. And even Sparkling Dragon, Paul made good ground. Yeah, I've got a Sparkling Dragon and, and winning method. I thought they both um, can turn the tables here on Shining Ace. All right, you can see Shining Ace and the conditions that night, um, although it's kicking up a little bit, still officially on the good side, the quick side, good to firm um, as it was in the book. This is Waldorf. Now, we're going back two starts uh, for Waldorf because they rolled the dice in group company last time out. It didn't work, uh, Paul, but he'd be much back here. Much yeah, and look, back I, I, at Happy Valley. I, I, yeah, I think he'll get the race run to suit as well, um, Waldorf. He's, he's rated 94 now. This was off a rating of 93. Uh, this is what he normally does, but there's a lot of pace in this race. He, he, we can see he's got a really good turn of foot, this horse. I think if they do overcook it, he's the one that's going to be finishing over the top. He's currently in the market at 6.3 as uh, Waldorf, who's getting home nicely there behind Amazing Star. It was just too rich for him uh, last time out in the Chartin Vars there. Of course, Jolly Batterson's come out of that race, but he was attacking the line pretty well there, uh, Waldorf, over the final stages, and he is a five-time course and distance winner. OK, so that's Waldorf, definite claims. Uh, Victorium as well, this is a super win from him last time out. Comes up in class, but uh, cast your mind back to the speed map. Um, Tom, it didn't look all that good for him. No, it doesn't, but I, I've, I've decided to put him on top here. If, he, if Zach can sneak him in somewhere from gate number 10, I think he'll uh, be pretty uh, tough to beat uh, here. Uh, Victoria, 8.7 in the market. It was a pretty tidy victory from him last time out by over a length and a half over grade one. Prior to that, he'd won over great treasure, but uh, he'd put them to bed here quite nicely, I thought. Yeah, it was a good win from him, but yeah, 10 looks tricky. I've got him in on a minor line. OK, and the last one, this is uh, Beauty Amigo. Uh, this is uh, winning form again, but uh, obviously this is at uh, Shartin, so switch in track, Paul. Yeah, I think he's going to find it tougher of the, the horses on the pace because he does like to go forward. He got the, the lead here and he did uh, win nicely. He's got two really quick horses on his inside. He's drawn 11, so he's going to find it very tough in this. So I didn't put him in an end. Yeah, I didn't put him in either. He kicked strongly here in the straight after having a good run in behind the, the speed. Um, I left him out, though. He beat home uh, Flying Sword, who you can see gets up on the inside there with uh, Allegheer. But, uh, look, I'm happy to happy to overlook him this time round. Yeah, cool. Flying Sword came out and won on the weekend. The form looks so uh, good, but the market suggests he's up against it. Uh, sparkling, uh, sorry, um, Beauty Amigo at nearly 40 to 1. Paul, what do you think wins here? Well, I think the race is going to be perfectly run to suit Waldorf, and I think he can get the walnuts here. He's on top to beat winning method, who's been very consistent recently. Victorian overcome the wide draw. And Sparkling Dragon, just ahead of the top two, who are legitimate chances as well. I think he'll finish off nicely. Really nice race, this. 3, 10, 6 and 9. Six on top for me, uh, Victorium. Uh, they're rolling the dice uh, here in Class 2. He's potentially up for a high achievement bonus should he win this. We often see these horses get into these races and be able to take that. So if he can overcome that wide stall, I think he's uh, a big player. Country star goes in number two, as two does one, Shining Ace and three, Waldorf. Uh, six, two, one and three. All right, so country star for me in the final event there. We might even nick an each way price about him um, as well with Alfie Chan in the saddle. Now, as far as the stats are concerned, uh, Paul, we're looking at Karis Tietenbu by anyone's standards. Had a pretty good month so far. He said that he had the best month of uh, June, did Karis Tietenbu. He loves June, this uh, jockey, and 49 rides for 10 wins, 5 seconds, 8 thirds, 20% uh, win rate. He's a uh, uh, jockey, red hot in form. And uh, focus is the one we'll just focus on here because uh, I think he can uh, add to that stat and focus. All right. As far as best bets are concerned, though, what are we looking at uh, this time round? Yeah, I'm going to go with Sky Darcy again. I think he can, uh, he can win. I made him the best last time. He didn't let me down. And I think he can win again. It just depends on what price we're going to get. But we'll take anything. Uh, long shot there is Authentic Champ. Hasn't raced for over a year. Uh, Keith Young, he got his winner the other day. I think he can go on with it. Barrier number six for him. He should get a nice run in a trappy race. And for the uh, play there, the Quinella Quinella place of Island Shine, Highland Fortune and Sky Darcy.
Righto, best for me comes up in race four, number 11, Daily Beauty. Casper Founds, Joe Marrera liked his run last time out, uh, only just missed and think he could win uh, this time round. The Quinella in that race with, uh, of course, Total Pout, so that's uh, race four, number 11. Value runner for me is uh, Lucky Missile in race number three for David Hall and Matthew Pooney. Was a little bit flat, I thought, at the 400 metres, but found again and ended up running second, so... Uh, Lucky Missile is there. The other ones uh, amongst the play for race nine, a shining ace country star, Walter Victorium for the trio there in the, the last, which looks very competitive. It does indeed. So, I like a Casper Founds runner as well. Jan Steed, I think you can turn things around with We The South. Gets a big turnaround at the weights, only beating a nose last amount. Chad Schofield in the saddle from barrier number five in race number five. In speed vision, he is all or nothing but dropping in class. He's got far the quickest time of any of these going round in this race, but he might run first, he might run last, but you want a price reflecting that. Next model, Wild West Wing and Jazz Steed is a QQP for me in race number five. So that's Happy Valley on uh, Wednesday night and then a relatively back quick up, back quick up, quick back up <laughs> for us, uh, Paul. We're back on Saturday at Chartin. Yep, Saturday uh, racing, so uh, that's always a, a good race meeting uh, on the Saturday. Sometimes you get some good value uh, amongst them. Looking a quick look at the early um, entries, they look uh, very open. All right, as far as the Jockeys' Championship is concerned, Tom, Joe needs a big night, really, with the suspension looming. Yeah, he certainly does, and he's got a few nice rides for uh, Casper Fans, so he's looking to uh, notch up a, a few winners. So... Uh, I think tomorrow night, Wednesday night, is going to be crucial. All right. Well, that's the show. Thanks for watching. On behalf of uh, Paul, Tom and the rest of the team, hopefully see you at Happy Valley on Wednesday night. We will be racing to win.